using a 3D printer to make 2D things is just a waste of potential, right? But what if we told you that you can use it to create super cool and original t-shirts? And it's not even that hard. Let's see how it's done. First, we'll take a look at how to convert an image into a printable 3D model. For this, you will need three programs. A vector graphics editor, like Inkscape. A 3D modeling program, like Autodesk Fusion 360. And a slicer. We'll use Prusa slicer, of course. In the beginning, you'll need to vectorize the image. It's best to use a PNG image with simple shapes. Open Inkscape. Import the image. And then go to Path, Trace Bitmap. You'll see a window with a preview, where you may tweak the vectorization process. Once you're done, just press Apply and save it using the SVG format. Now let's move to Fusion 360. Simply create a sketch, press Insert, select your SVG file and edit it as you wish. Once you're done, press E to extrude the sketch and make the 3D model. Go to File, Export and select FreeMF or STL file. Then open the file in Prusa Slicer and adjust the size. Change dimensions disproportionately and set the height to 0.2 or 0.45mm. That's one or two layers. If you plan to print an iron-on design, there's not much to tweak in print and filament settings. But if you plan to print directly on the fabric, you should increase nozzle temperature, set Z-lift from 0 to 1mm and turn off the skirt function. Now everything is set, so let's start the printer. For iron-on models, preparation is quite easy, but they're slightly harder post-processing. First, get baking paper, clamp it to the heat bath, spread a layer of glue stick on it and print on it as usual. Now prepare iron and a clean t-shirt. Preheat the iron at maximum temperature and carefully heat the print to make it soak into the fabric. Let it cool down, remove the baking paper and check the result. If it isn't good enough, simply repeat the ironing process. Don't worry about the glue stick leftovers. They can be removed easily by dissolving them in water. And that's it, let's see the results. Some of the prints tend to lose detail, but overall it's quite good, isn't it? Now, what about printing directly on fabric? Is it even possible? The answer is yes! It looks even better, but it's slightly harder to do. First, you need to print an insert that goes between the heat bed and the print sheet. This will allow you to fold the t-shirt so it doesn't block the printer. Let's try it! First, remove the steel sheet. Then raise the axis up. Attach the insert to the heat bed and put a steel sheet on it. It should be perfectly leveled and aligned with the heat bed, otherwise the printer will fail to work properly. Print the prepared PLA print or run the first layer calibration and raise the life adjust Z as high as possible. Stop the print and clean the nozzle with a steel brush. Now place the t-shirt on the steel sheet and fold it between the sheet and the heat bed. Double check that nothing blocks any movement of the printer. Now use small clips to tighten the t-shirt, but again make sure it doesn't block the printer movements. Once more, run the pre-sliced PLA print or first layer calibration to make sure the first layer is perfect. Then stop the print, remove everything that's printed 
and print your project. But this time, decrease the speed, increase nozzle temperature and flow. The material will become more liquid and pour into the fabric much better. Once the print is finished, remove the purge line. You may ask, what's that tiny rip over here? Well, this happens if you fail to tighten the shirt properly and the nozzle catches on it and damages it. Anyway, if you've done everything right, the PLA print should withstand some wearing, but will come off with some force. If you want the print to be permanent, use flexible filament. This time use a clear tape and glue stick under the purge line. You don't want any extra part of the flexible filament sticking to your t-shirt. Again, slow the print down, increase the nozzle temperature by 10 to 20 degrees and increase the flow. Now, that's not too bad, right? And it's really durable. Finally, let's see how our projects hold in a washing machine. Here we have an iron-on print and a failed flexible filament print that won't come off. After one washing, everything holds in position. But with more washing, the iron-on prints will eventually peel off and break. On the other hand, flexible filaments work really well. The failed TPU print will be there forever. Well, this sums up our tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it and we're looking forward to see your cool t-shirt designs. Happy printing!